What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, I'm gonna to be trying to do a pretty awesome swipe with, we have a magenta, we have copper, we have almost a cerulean blue, just a touch darker, it's a turquoise, and then a phthalo blue. Swipe color is gonna be black. Today, no base coat. We have plenty of paint mixed up, and this is what we're doing today. So, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody's doing amazing. It's wonderful to see you guys out there. All right. And with that, we're just going to make puddles. I want to do it a little different this time. Last time I did stripes. Today, we're just going to do puddles. So. The weather here has been kind of getting a little crazy. It was super cold because of that Arctic storm thing that was blowing through. And then... I think in a couple days it's going to be 58 degrees here in Detroit, which, like, I don't understand it, you guys. I don't understand what's going on here. I'm not going to complain, though. It's warmer, so I'm happy. But, yeah, so we're just making random puddles. None of these colors have silicone in them, which is why I'm not worried about it touching the canvas at all. I'm just going to drip and make... There's puddles everywhere. And with the light blue, I might have a little bit of fun with the turquoise. And kind of just sprinkle it on. But yeah. In my last swipe, these colors out of the entire rainbow of colors that I used were my absolute favorite. Just the way they kind of mixed together. The way they created some awesome stripes and lightning effects and it had a really cool marbled depth to it so i'm trying to see if i can get some of that magic back but yeah but yeah christmas is over with now coming upon new year's whole bunch of things happening where I'm from having a, a bunch of different types of opportunities over here so I'm looking at trying to collaborate with some people uh, reached out to some some don't seem very interested which is okay had a couple ideas that I wanted to do maybe at St. Jude's just need to reach out to them kind of want to do like a paint pour thing with the kids there, I think it'd be fun. Kind of introduce some little bit of this magic to them. I think that they would get a, a really great experience out of it. So I know I would love it. Being able to spread this love to them too. I remember from my previous video, everybody's commenting where you're from, and that's awesome. There's so many of you from all over the world, which is great. I'm really glad that we can all reach some common ground, even though we're so far apart, just based on where we live. I think that's so cool. All right, so the paint's kind of all puddling down, down towards the center. Did kind of a no-no and did not um, I did not spray any water on the back of this canvas, so it's a little bit heavier towards the middle, but hopefully we'll be able to rectify that once we get the swipe going. All right, so we got them colors over there. Could stand to have a little darker blue on these sides too. And a lot of this color on the edge, you guys, is probably going to get either pulled off, pushed off, one or the other. A lot of this copper is getting eaten up by all these other colors. I know it's underneath, but I do want it to show. So we'll just draw some little nifty doodads in it. I'm so excited about this thing. I think it's going to turn out really cool. And 
we have plenty of paint now. Far more than we need. So now I have my oxide black. It's an Amsterdam oxide black. There is uh, three drops of silicone in this black. Kind of going to do the same thing that I did last time. Just paint a stripe and dip the document protector in it and create some really cool cells. And that is the plan anyway. All right, let's see what we can get going here. Get a nice even coat on this thing. Swipes are so much fun just because there's they're a fairly simple technique and they create such stunning results. So let's, let's lay this down and we're going to start swiping. Oh, look at these colors coming to the surface here. You're probably noticing I'm jiggling it back and forth. I'm trying to create a kind of texture in this. And it seems to be working. All right, just slowly pulling it towards the edge. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit here, kind of do its thing. I'm gonna apply a little bit of paint so it kind of tries to flow evenly. And I'm gonna speed up this part so you guys can watch the cells kind of develop naturally before we introduce anything to them. Right now I'm just giving it some paint along the edges to help it kind of flow. So I want it to be able to move. All right. So let me introduce a little bit of heat and you guys can just watch them grow. All right, so we gave it maybe two minutes, not too much. We introduced a bunch of heat and it started opening up some really cool cell structure. I'm gonna spin it just to get these solid bits off the side. I'm not gonna spin it hard. I kind of like the very round shape of these cells. And then spinning it is gonna accomplish two things. It's gonna thin out those layers it's going to kind of help us introduce even more uh, cells to this piece. I'm already seeing a lot of really cool uh, bright blues, 
and the magentas are peeking through and a lot of multicolored cells going on and that makes me really happy. Wow, all right. So yeah, so that was what I wanted to accomplish. I just wanted to get everything kind of flowing over the sides. And now that we have that going on, now we can manipulate it a little bit. So, as you know on my channel, I typically use a torch, or not a torch, a heat gun, often. And I use that because I like the control it gives me. But I think in this one, we're gonna do something for science with a torch. Kinda wanna see what the torch can do. Cause the torch, it adds a more vigorous reaction to that silicone. Really helps open everything up. Now the only thing you gotta be wary of is the torch is direct heat, it's a flame. So if you hold it over one spot for too long, it will definitely burn the paint and we don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna lightly graze over the areas. Like right here is really cool looking. I don't really wanna mess with that. Over here, it could use a little bit more love. Little, some little parts here and there. So I wanna see what we can accomplish. As you see, like it's a very vigorous reaction with these flames. Really causes the paint to react totally different than usual. So it's helping open up these cells, creating these really vibrant, delicate little tiny cells. All right, this is beautiful, you guys. Yeah. So if you're not getting the cells that you're looking for, you could definitely use some direct heat on it and that will help you kind of manipulate it a little bit. It'll change things up just a slight tad. And maybe that'll be what you're looking for. But for now, you guys, I love this. Now, another thing to know about the torch is that all these little tiny delicate cells that you just opened they're gonna continue to open. It might cause a little bit of distortion, but it should keep that really fine, delicate feathers and striations going on. So I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna come back to it afterwards. But first, I wanna bring you guys down, have a look at it before, and then when it's dry, you'll see what cells formed and how much the composition changed from now to then based on the techniques we use today. So right now I have the flash on so you guys can see the copper shining through. Everywhere that that torch kissed left these really tiny delicate little cells. And those areas before then were completely blank. They just had the swipe color over them. The way that copper is acting is just gorgeous. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.